It has already created a landslide of national coverage and many believe it will provide proceeds here at the football stadium, not only with fans coming to see the game, but coming to see other things in our area, those who come to see prime time and check out some other things while they're here. The Iron Horse Grill sits on the edge of the JSU campus, already banking on the increase in business that will come from JSU's home games now. Anything indirectly that's going to drive traffic to downtown Jackson, we will indirectly see the benefit one way or the other, whether it's at lunch, whether it's at dinner, whether it's to, to go or catering orders. The Sanders hire at JSU is expected to produce bigger game day crowds. That in turn brings the hope of more Jackson visitors. One football game for Jackson State brings about five to eight million dollars to Jackson, Mississippi. So um, Deion Sanders is going to fill some stands. So if we get that five to eight to turn to 10 to 15 per game, it's a win-win for the entire Jackson community. The NFL Hall of Famer is a brand to himself, garnering national recognition and coverage on a host of on and off field topics. You've also got the national media and it's Jackson State's garnering headlines. I pulled up ESPN earlier and it was one of the top stories on ESPN. Rent says that national media attention could alone produce major dividends in getting people to look at and talk about the greater Jackson area. If the chamber tried to buy that kind of media exposure in ads or commercials, it would be massively expensive. A media buy of this caliber would be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for every mention that you're getting. And people are talking about it, the pundits and uh, the different sports commentators all talking about what he can bring to Jackson State. Which players hope will mean soon a dramatic increase, not only the people who come here to see a game and see the Tigers and Deion Sanders, but who decide to stay an extra day or two and check out the museums and the other attractions in this area. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.